I'd like to share with you a couple lessons I learned from my dad. First one, I must have been seven or eight years old. We were out in the carport. I don't know what I was doing, probably playing with something. And he says to me, son, there's a handful of men that rule the world. Okay, dad. I had no idea that that would be a guiding principle for me to understand. Secondly, and I don't know how much longer afterwards he says to me, if you ever want to know what's really going on, follow the money. Okay. These were little nuggets that I just tucked back. When I started reading the Word of God, I came across the Sermon on the Mount. And there's a passage in chapter 6, verse 24, and it says, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. So I began to realize that what my earthly father was sharing with me in very simplistic terms was developed in the Bible. Because later on, the Lord comes to a religious guy and he says, man, I fulfilled all of the commandments. And then Jesus says, well, forsake all and follow me. He couldn't do it because he coveted. And so as I have aged, and as I have looked around, I see that what my earthly and heavenly father has laid out for me has been really wonderful wisdom to help me understand what's going on. And so I see that there are a handful of men that are kind of making things happen. Secondly, I'm realizing that uh, this God of Mammon is very, very real. And so if, uh, if you don't see that the almighty dollar is trying to take over the world, you might go back and ask your father if he's still living. Is there a handful of men that are running the world? Is there a true and living God and a God of mammon? These have been guiding principles for me. I'm thankful for my father. I'm thankful for him laying this out. I pray that I can be a physical and a spiritual father to others, that they might understand what's really going on in this world. Otherwise, it can be rather perplexing and confusing. You can feel like a prisoner. You can feel trapped. But if you know what's going on, man, the truth will set you free. Thank you, Dad, for those truths.